Yeah. So here, see here. Uh, we have phi one. Uh, we have calculated phi one value. We have calculated phi two value, and we have to take the difference. The d phi by by dt is phi two minus phi one. Phi two minus phi one divided by the time zero point two five. Just multiply it, you get the answer. And I is equal to what d by r. Just substitute, you get the answer for that also. Okay. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. The next one is what? Uh, next, we'll do. We'll do one more question. Which was figures will be given to you, and you have to solve those figures. Six point four. I will do six point four and six point seven. Okay. These both the both the questions are important. Six point not seven. Six point five. Four and five. We will do that. Okay. Now, is this is this clear a bit? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, clear man. This one. Yes. Okay. Now, now there is a C in figure six point seven. They have given shows a planar uh, loop of different shapes moving out of a into a region of a magnetic field, which is di directed in uh, normal to the plane of the loop uh, away from the reader. Okay. Determine the direction of the induced current if each the loop. Okay. Now. Example number six point three, six point four. Now this is the magnetic field. This is the magnetic field. Okay. Now. Now this is a coil man, and this coil is moving in the magnet. Okay, that means it is. Uh, what happened now? A B C here. A B here. A B C and D. Okay. Now, so this is the coil again. A B C. And now in the first way, so we'll we'll see the direction how the direction forms here. The first one, the first one, the current is going in what direction? See here, the magnetic field is going into the board. Cross means the magnetic field is going into the board. Okay. Dot means coming out. Arrow, arrow. No, I can have it wrong. Okay, see. Uh, that's what students get confused like this. So that's what I'm drawing an arrow. Okay. An arrow, what will happen? A tip of the arrow when, when the arrow is coming towards you, the tip is coming towards you. Okay, so that is a dot. Dot means dot means out of paper. Dot means out of paper. Okay, and cross means into the paper. Cross means into the paper. Is that clear? Dot means out of the paper. Cross means into the paper. Now. <clears throat> We have A, B, C, and D. This is the a loop. Okay, this is the loop. And now this loop is placed in the this loop is placed in the magnetic field. Now this magnetic field is going into the paper. See here, the magnetic field is moving into the paper, and the uh, coil is entering is moving like this. Okay, the magnetic field is going into the paper, and this, that means the, the conductor is moving perpendicular to the magnetic. Field. The conductor is moving, is cutting the magnetic lines of forces in simple words. This material or the loop is cutting the magnetic lines of forces. When it is cutting the magnetic lines of forces, what does it mean? It's moving towards the, the like towards the coil or away from the coil. 
there in the when i was explaining lens law what happened in the lens law uh, the north of the bar magnet is moving approaching the the north of the bar magnet is moving towards the uh, is moving towards the coil then north pole was formed north was formed and when it is moving away a south pole was formed okay now now what will happen now he gives this arrow but he is asking you to find out the direction of the current in the loop induced current in the loop i already drew here so what is happening when it is moving into the coil it, it means that like a north pole okay like a, like a north pole or like it will be a, when a, wherever there is a north pole it will be a counter clockwise direction means anti clockwise so this is anti clockwise when it is leaving south pole will be formed okay so this this one is this one is leaving the magnetic field yeah mm -hmm. so south pole will be formed means clock, clockwise so see the clockwise again this is also leaving clockwise mm -hmm. see is this clear here it is anti clockwise anti clockwise and a north pole will be formed and here it is because it is entering and if it is leaving what will happen if it is leaving what will happen clockwise and a south pole is formed similar with this also it is leaving the magnetic field so what will happen clockwise and a south pole is formed is that clear is that clear mr uh, yes sir abhi okay or okay. we'll do one more experiment okay <clears throat> Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll do one more experiment. Okay, one more, one more experiment, which is which was asked in the board exam. Did you copy this? Copy. Um, just a second. Okay. <coughs> yeah, done. Okay. So, is it clear this concept? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. Now here, the next one is suppose, uh, yeah, there is a coil man. Now there is a coil. A north pole is going towards the coil, and here, so north will be formed. North pole is moving away from the coil. So what should be the current and what should be the pole here? One side is a north pole, the other end it is a south pole, right? No, the coil is at the center now. The coil is like this. The magnet is approaching. The magnet is approaching like this. When it is going towards, a north pole will form here. On the back side, south pole is formed. Is that clear? But again, there is a north is moving away. So when north is moving away, south is moving. Okay. So like that, they can frame so many questions here. In this case also. So they can a north pole will be formed here, and uh, north pole is formed here, and and uh, anti-clockwise anti-clockwise so direction of induced current will be anti-clockwise. Okay. Similarly, here also see here, like they can uh, draw the magnet like this, and they can uh, like this can be this. Yeah, they can change the direction also. They can change the direction and 
they can frame the questions like the south and north and and this when this is moving away south is moving towards south like this it can be like this also so a south pole is normal yeah sorry okay so a south pole is fine is that good clockwise direction clockwise uh moment are you understanding Abhi? yes Abhi, are you understanding this one yes yeah so this type of questions can be there okay we'll do one example question again. so there is a rectangular uh there's a rectangular uh, loop which is placed in the magnetic field and it is moving out of the field okay suppose this is moving out of the field with velocity this is moving out of the field with velocity similarly here also there is a magnetic field So in this case, he is asking in both the cases. What about the uh, induced current? Okay. So what happens in both the cases? The it is moving out of the field. So south pole is one and clockwise direction that we know already. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it is moving out of the field, but he is asking uh, the induced current. Induced current. Induced EMF is expected to be constant in the first case. The induced EMF is here. Induced EMF is constant and the second case we have induced emf is very very varying induced emf is varying can you tell me why why it is so in the first case see current is induced in both the cases current is induced so in in both the cases it will be south pole and it will be uh, clockwise that already because it is both of them are leaving the field but uh, very good what is happening here when it is cutting the field the whole this part of the wire is straight and it is cutting at the same uniform uniform speed okay v is the uniform velocity it is going with a uniform velocity going with a uniform velocity in the magnetic field so what happens the induce the current is induced see this this part is cutting the uh, magnetic lines of forces constantly the whole thing whole surface mm. so there's a constant emf but whereas here the surface is like this surface is like this spherical spherical mm. or circular mm. so what is happening when it is cutting this part comes first this comes this part comes later then this also comes later so because of which mm. the current is not constant it is very varying in the middle ah that the points are not constant this point is different and but that is all the the whole circumference of the wire is not touching the magnetic field at the same time. Is that clear? It's not cutting at the same time. So that is the reason we get a induced the varying induced EMF. Is that clear? Varying induced EMF. We'll go for the next one. There is a magnet and there is a uh, capacitor. Okay. So why I'm telling you this type of questions will come in the exam. They will give you a blank thing. They will give, leave this uh, figure and they will ask you the direction of the induced EMF. And where is the North Pole form, whether it is a South Pole or North Pole, whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, induced current. These all these things they will be asking in the examination. Okay. Is that clear? Abhir? Now <clears throat> yes, sir. We have a North Pole and a South Pole here. And here we have a South Pole and North Pole. Okay. Yeah, I'll run this one. Okay. So there is a North Pole and South Pole. So South and North Pole. And there is a uh, uh circular wire uh there is circular wire uh with a capacitor okay circular wire with a capacitor so this is plus and this is minus north pole and south pole and south and north pole okay now now what happened this is that the pol uh, the polarity of a will be uh what will be the polarity here a and this is b the polarity of A is positive and the polarity of B is negative. I say why? See, go back. When the north is C, when the north is moving towards, okay, he says the direction of north and south. This is south. When north is moving towards the coil, like suppose this surface of the coil will be north and the back side will be south. This will be north and this will be south. Same way, this, this front surface is south, north, back surface is south. 
So when front surface is north, is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Current is flowing in. Current is flowing in. Anti-clockwise. Anti okay, see here. When north is flowing, the yeah, same case. I think. I think the same case. Okay, yeah. I take the south here. So what will happen? North is formed on the front side and back side. South is formed. Same situation. So what will happen now? Current is flowing in the anti-clockwise. Current is flowing in the anti-clockwise. Yeah, anti. It is anti-clockwise. See, so that is why we have given positive. Uh, this big, this polarity, this uh, plate will become positive, and the down plate will become negative. Understood? Because current is flowing in the anti-clockwise. This is anti-clockwise, right? So it will be like this. This is north. This is south. And this is north. Whatever it is, if it is north, the uh, what happens? The current will flow in the anti-clockwise. Clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll stop here for today. And uh, most of the EMF concept I'll explain tomorrow. Okay. So today we did Lenz law, uh, conservation of energy. And we did numericals on uh, numericals on both uh, numericals on uh, uh, what do you call it? Faraday's uh, law of electromagnetic induction and Lenz law. We did okay. Lenz law there will be, there, is, there is no problem. Actually, there will be a circuit diagram. You need to complete the circuit diagram. That's okay. So most of the EMF we will do tomorrow, and uh, we will try to complete the uh, next part that is eddy currents is deleted. I think eddy currents is deleted from the portions. Mutual induction uh, self induction is there. That's it. And AC generator that is also there. So AC generator they generally teach after the AC current chapter. But anyways, I'll teach it at the earlier. So okay, so we can complete it uh, by tomorrow. We'll complete the theoretical part of this lesson. Okay, please don't miss the class. Okay, so uh, I'll update the timing also on the WhatsApp. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir. thank you, sir.